Hey everyone, I'm Rob Campbell, it's Brian Coogan. We're here at Ring's End continuing our discussion about the changes to the 2022 building code, specifically the energy uh, requirements. Brian, you want to tell us a bit about uh, what we've got behind us here? Yeah, no problem, Rob. Guys, thank you again for tuning in to check us out. This is a two by six wall, 16 on center, just like we're used to framing uh, for the last you know, 15, 20 years and so on. And then we used a uh, zip system on the exterior with zip tape to also achieve our air sealing and as our WRB. One great thing about doing this system is we do not have to change how we put our windows or doors in. Everything's installed properly and like we're used to with the introduction of closed cell spray foam into a two by six wall cavity. On the other hand, now we have two by eight. Obviously, two by eight, it's a little bit different, but the process in which you're framing that wall is gonna be very similar to how you're framing a two by six wall. We use Benjamin Updike Hydro HydroGap SA, which is a great product for our air sealing to comply with any of those blower door tests that we have to do. Again, this is half inch CDX, Benjamin Updike Hydro HydroGap SA, and Rockwell R30 insulation on that wall. This is a two by eight, 24 on center. Now, some of you may say, I only do 16 on center. The great thing about the two by eight, 24 on center, you're reducing the amount of studs that you set in that wall, which saves you time. Right. Flip them. Flip now we're here looking at the interior of our wall sections again. Brian, you wanna give us a little detail on the interior here? Yeah, absolutely. This is a two by six wall cavity with closed cell spray foam. Closed cell spray foam has a lot of great redeeming qualities. One of them being increased R value over traditional insulation options. Another one being great sound deadening qualities and also great air sealing properties to help comply with code requirements that are out there as well. We're looking at the interior now of our two by eight wall assembly. This is two by eight, 24 on center. And in this wall assembly, we're utilizing Rockwell R30 insulation. Now for code requirements, it is R30 if we do not want to use exterior continuous insulation. One of the reasons we're showing a 24 on center is one, increasing to two by eight at 16 on center would increase cost to our wall assembly. Where at 24 on center, you're setting less studs, you're achieving your interior R value requirements with the Rockwell R30. And the reason we chose Rockwell is because it's got a lot of the same qualities as the previous closed cell spray foam. One, really fantastic sound deadening qualities. It's increased R value over more traditional insulation like your fiberglass insulations. It's not affected by moisture. So God forbid if there was a leak or anything like that, as soon as we fixed it, we could continue to use the R30 product in that wall assembly moving forward. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bryant went over a lot of different stuff here talking about our two by six and two by eight traditional wall assemblies. Uh, Bryant, you wanna just kind of summarize the couple of things you touched on uh, in this video? Yeah, absolutely. So we have two ways to achieve code requirements with traditionally framed walls. Two by six with closed cell spray foam, which gives you an R38 at R7 per inch. Zip system, WRB integrated WRB panel. Benjamin Opdyke Hydro Gap SA on our two by eight wall with Rockwell R30. Now it's two by eight, 24 on center. Rob, thank you very much for coming out and helping me out with this. If you guys have any comments or questions, please comment below or call one of our Ring Zen locations to talk to one of our sales experts. Thanks again, and I'm Brian Coogan.